Ready, set, Dragon Pulse. Indeed. I hope we see at least one Dragon Pulse this game. Uh, we have Sprinkler versus somebody. I actually don't know who this is. It's Sprinkler versus... Camsil, got it. Sprinkler's on the top, Camsil's on the bottom. This is DPB OU plus Salamance. Breloom gets the initiative on the likely, uh, the likely Sash or Scarf Tar lead. Uh, Scarf Tar lead, I believe, has dropped down into a pit after the metagame is reverting to a more Mens era, like the Mens era. So you're gonna, regardless, you're getting out of the Scarf Spore because the Breloom is either Scarf Spore or Sash Spore, but it's most likely Scarf. But it is Sash here or some other move, like some other thing. Uh, just choosing to double powder. We've seen this before in this tour. Uh, double powder Breloom in the lead slot. And it's going to superpower the Skarm for a massive amount. A Skarm just goes for a spike. Is it going to get out of here fearing a fire, uh, flying move? Uh, and also resetting the drop. And Skarm is just going to roost knowing that Breloom can't do quite as much damage anymore. Uh, Tar comes in to absorb the fire move. Skarmory, of course, would get roasted there. This looks like some kind of Scarf Tar stall from the Sprinkler, a more modern team. Let's see if it stands up in the uh, Men's Era, which is what we have Primoral reverted into. And, um, yeah. So I would expect this to be Scarf now that I see as Clefable and a Skarmory. And that burn is very unfortunate. Breloon comes in. Scarf Tar does run rocks, notably, on these teams. Uh, it often is, it's like, sometimes it's the Soul Rocker, so, haha, <laughs> Soul Rock. Uh, sometimes it is the Olo, like, the only Mon that carries rocks on them. Sometimes it's a secondary Rocker with Clef carrying them. But you're going to choose to get up your rocks. Superpower doing a lot less to Skarmory this time. Probably a Fizdef Skarm. Or maybe a little mixed defense. I don't know my DPP calcs. Swampert comes in. Yeah, I'm surprised that Skarmory doesn't want to get out of there. Because Hydro could be doing a lot. But I guess it knows that it can take the Hydro really well and just roost it off. You're healing that off. Of course, uh, if you para, you're in trouble. Like you did there. Now you're going to get out, go to Lottie. You could have gone to Lottie in the first place and not risk this scenario. And ended up only with, mo with significantly more health. Uh, Lottie comes in. It's not going to Grass Knot, notably. A lot of the time, uh, Lottie's on this team will carry Grass Knot. Grass Knot Ice Beam. Dawn Fan. Hold on. Dawn Fan. That makes a lot of sense, uh, actually, because it spins, which some stall teams like. Of course, like, more modern stall teams don't really care about spinning, because everything's immune to hazards except for, like, one Mon. Uh, you, like, the Tar... And, uh, of course, Donphan has Ice Shard, so it can Revenge Kill Salamance, which is a major, major threat to these teams. So I like this a lot. Uh, I assume we are going to see a Salamance from Camsil. Just gonna Hydro and a Laddie. This is very much, uh, a game that could go either way. Scarf Tar is kinda useless now that it's burned... Skarm's basically dead, Reloom died, and then there's three reveals, well, four reveals. <gasps> Ice Beam Crit is really big here, because Lottie can just keep recovering that stuff off, and now the Sleeping Clef is coming into the Earth Power Swamp Pert. This is like a full special pert. Do you not have rocks on this thing? You have a great, like, Skarm can pivot into here, but it dies to Ice Beam. You're not even lefties, you're Shed. Shed's, uh, Shed skin. And just earth powering, okay. Are you, do you seriously not have rocks on this thing? Hydras are not doing much, but this Clef is really sleeping. It should wake up on the next turn. Yeah, it does. Just get the soft wailed. Can you not kill Clef? <laughs> Do you not have a plan for Clef other than your non-focus, uh, non, your non-poison uh, heal Greeloom? Because you seem to be having a really hard time. Your Swampert's been knocked. It's a roar per- where are you- was, is Tran your rocker? Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an absolute idiot. 
We've seen rocks this game. We saw them get spun by the Dawn fan. They came out of the Rachi. I'm so dumb. Um, anyhow. So yeah, Rachi's your rocker. That makes sense with a roar pert. This pert uh, is probably meant to take Salamence, like a Salamence hit and kill it with Ice Beam. It's got obviously a lot of special investment or just like no physical investment because of the three special moves and roar. Uh, this Tran is offensive, but not doing a ton to this no bulk tar. Uh, can it get out of the way? Because EQ still really hurts, but it might not even be EQ tar. Yeah, it's super power. A lot of Scarf Tars won't even carry EQ. And it's just going to die on the next turn, but does kill the Swampert with a crit. Now, let's see what comes out. Jirachi, probably a special defense mon. No, it's not, because that, whoa, it Iron Head crit, is that, like, I wasn't Life Orb Mens, was that Specs Mens, or was that a mixed DD, is this, like, because that did so much to Rachi. is that Specs Mens, I think it might be, because what are you running here, other than, like, specially defensive to Rachi? regardless, uh, the trick on the Rachi. Choice scarfing it makes it kind of useless. This is very, very, very winnable for a star tar. Star tar. Is it, what the? What is that name? Um. Oh, it's T-Bolt Rachi. <laughs> T-Bolt into the Dawn Fan. Ice Punch is doing nothing, but you freeze. Wow. Uh, Tran can come in once more, and Fire Blast looks pretty strong. Ice Punch thawing. You dropped EQ, but the Lottie can scare this thing out, and maybe even just the Tran with raw damage. I don't know. Dawn is not very bulky, but Ice Shard's not doing much. It's Custab Tran! You burn the Custab, which isn't relevant here, except for the Scarf Rachi, but that, that's a Fire Blast Mist. Does it have Boom? Does it have Boom? It's Iron Head T-Tran? What? This was a very haxy game. What the crap? Oh, it's a crit Draco. Oh no, hold on, you could win this. Uh, you get a Scarf Rashi out speed? It probably does. Iron Head, do you flinch, you win. Okay. You're probably in range for Ice Shard too. This was an interesting game. Um, that crit on the Specs Mens is kind of big. It's kind of big. I'm assuming it's Specs Mens. I should really get a DPP here to help me out with the commentary for these and catch my mistakes, like not realizing that Rachi has stealth rocks for half the game. It's fine. Only 40 people watch these.